All right, all right. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Hot Seat Automotive Podcast. Your buddy CJ here. We're talking about all things automotive industry. We're talking about the car guy hobby. We're talking about cars, 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 and all the things that real gearheads are into. Real Gearhead Talk. This is the place to be for Real Gearhead Talk. Guys, welcome back, particularly to all of my subscribers. So grateful for each and every one of you. If you're not a subscriber yet, please give me a like and subscribe. Guys, I love my subscribers. I love fellow gearheads, car guys, car girls. You know, we love getting into this and kind of talking about new cars and classic cars, exotic cars, what's going on in the industry, what's going on in our hobby and car culture. So guys, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into it. What are we talking about today? The new Aston Martin Vantage. Let's look at this together. So guys, this is the new Aston Martin Vantage. This thing looks sleek. Uh, Aston Martins have, in my mind, always been beautiful cars. This is James Bond's car. Come on, are you kidding me? <laughs> Guys, let me know what you think about Aston Martin. Let me know what you think about the Aston Martin Vantage. Here's a couple things you got to know about this new one. Uh, it's going to have that four liter twin turbo V8 provided by Mercedes AMG. Now, that's not new. Aston Martin's been doing that for a while with the Vantage. Uh, what is new is that this thing is going to be putting out big power and it's a big power bump from the previous version of the Aston Martin Vantage. So we're talking about 656 horsepower up from about 503 horsepower. They're bumping up 150 horsepower. So that puts this car in line with a lot of stiff competition and that super high performance sports car realm, even in that supercar realm. I mean, just absolutely ridiculous power, right? And it's an internal combustion engine, twin turbo V8, Mercedes AMG. Are you kidding me? Uh, direct comparisons can be made between this car, maybe in the 911 Turbo S. In fact, that's the comparison that everyone wants to make. I claim that's a problem, and I'll tell you why in a moment. But uh, if you're in the market for one of these, an Aston Martin Vantage, it's not going to come cheap. Now the bad news, maybe, guys. <laughs> We're looking at about a 32% increase in base price. You know, you get that 150 extra horsepower, no doubt. That's fantastic. But it comes at a price. Aston Martin's asking price is at about $208,000. Starting point, $208,000 for the new Aston Martin Vantage. That represents, as I said, about a 32% increase in price. Zero to 60, you're looking at about 3.4 seconds. You know, this isn't the only big power Aston. The DB12 putting out about 670 horsepower. Hello, Ferrari, uh, competing directly with some of the Ferraris. The Vantage is really meant to compare with the 911. Guys, that's a problem though. And I'll tell you why. Let's take a look at something else together. Let's take a look at something else together. Give me a like and subscribe, by the way, guys. Uh, you, you know here on Hot Seat Automotive Podcast, we look at these things together. We love talking about them. We love interacting. Let's look at this. Porsche 911 Turbo S, probably the natural enemy and the natural competitor to the Aston Martin Vantage. And direct comparisons can be made. Price point puts it in the same realm as a 911 Turbo, at least if not indeed within reach of a 911 Turbo S. If, if the starting point for an Aston Martin Vantage going forward is going to be 208 k before options, you know, the Porsche 911 Turbo S, the starting uh, MSRP is a slightly higher, but not that far off when you're already talking about spending two to $300,000 for a sports car or a super sports car. So they're in the same bracket. They're in the same realm. The problem is, let me be blunt, is this thing on? If you drive the 911, it might ruin you for that Aston Martin. Hear me out, guys. Aston fans, if you're offended, well, it is what it is. <laughs> you know I love you. But uh, I've driven the Aston Martin Vantages. Full transparency, I haven't owned one. I have owned various different Porsches and 911s. I've driven a bunch of them. What I'll say is the Vantage is a beautiful car. It's certainly more rare. I think if, you, if, you, if you're going with an Aston Martin Vantage, you're going to stand out a bit more. It, it's somewhat of an understated design. Leave me comments if you feel differently. I think the Aston Martin Vantage is a beautiful design. It is a classic design. Absolutely gorgeous car. 
uh, maybe a bit understated, but it will certainly stand out more than your average Porsche 911. And to back that up a bit, you know, they've sold tens of thousands of Aston Martin Vantages. Yeah, they sell hundreds and hundreds and thousands of 911s. It's not even close. 911 is a super, super mass produced car in the context of sports cars anyway. Okay. When you compare it with something like an Aston Martin or a Lotus, that's really limited, limited manufacturing. Um, the reason I bring that up is because, you know, if, if you want something different and you say, look, I don't want to be like every other 911, how many 911s are you going to see at a car show and driving around town uh, in, in any major city USA versus how many Aston Martins you're going to see? I claim probably like one. For every 100 911s you see, you might see one Aston sports car. Seriously, that's been my experience. You know, there are differences as well in specs. You know, the Porsche 911 turbos, the Turbo S's, these are all-wheel drive. These are rear engine. Uh, these are super high performance. But that's very different than a V8 twin turbo front engine rear-wheel drive car. You know, the Aston Martin has the same config as, you know, a Chevy Corvette. I'm kidding. Don't get mad at me, Aston guys. But in all seriousness, you got in a big engine out front, big old hood, okay? And then the rear drive out back. So you're going to get that high performance twin turbo V8 rear wheel drive sports car experience versus the 911 just dialed in, you know, super surgical driving experience with all that German engineering and quality. I claim that makes the Aston Martin a tough value proposition. Yes, it's a beautiful car. Yes, it's a fantastic car, super high performance, rare, exclusive, but go drive the 911 Turbo and Turbo S. It might convince you to go in that direction, and that's going to be a challenge for Aston going forward, even if you say, well, now our horsepower rating is higher than the 911 Turbo S. 911 diehards will say, so what? I don't care. You could have a 1,000 horsepower. I'd never buy the Aston. And if you go drive them both, you might come to that same conclusion. Let me know what you think. But let's look at this thing again together one more time because that's what we do on this channel. We love talking about cars and looking at cars. Guys, this thing is going to have an updated infotainment. Uh, they contemplated giving the Vantage a new name, which I think is kind of interesting. Uh, they were going to, you know, dare I say, go with an updated nameplate. Uh, but I think they sided with, hey, let's continue to leverage the brand, the awareness around the Vantage nameplate. So indeed, this next generation Vantage, with all of its updates, aesthetic updates, interior updates, performance updates, are you kidding me? 150 additional horsepower out of that Mercedes AMG 4 liter twin turbo V8. Um, I claim uh, if you're in the market for an Aston Martin Vantage, you got to consider the 911. You got to consider the 911. It's its natural enemy. It's its natural competitor. My driving experience, your buddy CJ is going to give you some real talk. Real talk tonight. Real gearhead talk. I tell you like it is. Having driven both, while I found the Aston beautiful in the interior, oh, it's just so gorgeous. Okay, I drove the previous generation Vantage, not this one that just came out. I was underwhelmed by the driving experience. You know, and I've driven a lot of performance cars. I've owned a lot. I've got performance cars in my garage right now. Uh, I just, it, I didn't get the feeling like I had to run out and buy one of these. Now, I didn't, full transparency, br brief test drive really is all I've had with a Vantage. I didn't spend a weekend with it. I didn't spend six hours with it. I didn't go to the track with it. You know, maybe if I kind of got into it a bit more and did some miles with the car and really, you know, stretch its legs a little bit, I would have felt differently, but not a car that I instantly fell in love with. Again, they're exclusive. They're gorgeous. You feel like James Bond. This is James Bond's car. Come on. Uh, you feel like 007 driving it, but I didn't fall in love with it. Let me know what you guys think, Aston Martin folks. Uh, what's your experience? If you Listen, I'm going to ask you guys this. You ready? Your buddy CJ is going to put it to you straight. Real talk tonight. You got $250,000 to spend, but you can only buy an Aston Martin Vantage or a Porsche 911 Turbo S. Which one are you going with? I'll even go further. You can go with any Porsche 911 you want, $250,000 budget, or any Aston Martin Vantage you want, $250,000 budget. They got to be brand new 
Which one are you going with? Leave me comments. I'd love to know what you guys think. I would probably lean towards the Porsche. Um, I'd want to go back and drive both. That's what your buddy CJ thinks. But I want to hear from you. Leave me comments. Let's see where it goes. Guys, I just wanted to go on here quickly and talk about the new Aston Martin Vantage. Talk about what else is in the market, especially and namely the Porsche 911 Turbo, the Turbo S. Um, I think I'll say it again, guys. These, these are incredibly exciting times. Yes, we're entering the era of EVs and, and a lot of things are changing, but we're not there yet. We've still got some brilliant, incredible, super high performance internal combustion engine cars. And we should be grateful as car guys and as gearheads. Let's enjoy the moment. Aston Martin Vantage putting out big power. 656 horsepower. This thing's a beast. Twin turbo V8. Are you kidding me? What do you guys think? Leave me comments. Give me a like and subscribe. Your buddy CJ loves you. Real gearhead talk. Thanks for checking out the episode and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.